Susan, what you're doing? I'm doing the most laborious job of cooking. I'm preparing the tomato sauce for um, boiling. This would oh. be our pasta sauce. Oh, no. And there's nothing more boring than pulling the little tops. What do they call these little tops? Yeah. What What's this? Yeah, no, I don't know. Gate clips or yeah, something. Gate, yeah, something. something like that. Yeah. And, this and you all have also some uh, basil. Tomorrow I'll bring you more basil. Oh, I've got lots in here. It's yeah. all underneath. So you will yeah. next stage is just to <laughs> My boil look, them. it's all here. There's oh, you're, you're it's them. all basil and tomato. So what you will do next? Well, the next one thing that comes, I will fry the onions. Mm -hmm. I always fry the onions and the garlic. You mean you will put it on yeah, the... they need to be caramelised, but everything else... So how you fry it? it? Well, you I put it in the oven? No, I fry it. Oh, you put it uh, over in the, the pan. hot... Uh -huh, in the it pan. In the pan, okay. yeah. Don't confuse frying with baking or, uh -huh. or, or roasting. Yeah. I will fry it in the pan. There it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you have removed all those tails. Oh, God, yeah. It's better we call it tails. It's very... Yeah, I think it's for baking. Yeah, 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 something. So yeah. one of the viewers can tell us what is it called? Because Colics, I think. Colics. Something like that because I'm absolutely tired out. I think that's yeah. because of the crinoids. I know that crinoids have a colic and that uh, is a colic. <laughs> right, like, you okay, know, as a, as a, uh, yeah, <laughs> lover of fossils, <laughs> I can say that we call that in the crinoid colic. Okay, well, uh, it's is also called sea lilies, you know that. Right, then I didn't, and I'm sure none of the other viewers did, but we'll take Yeah, I, when you told it, just I just remembered. Okay. Anyway, yeah. well done, I will come when you're boiling it, okay? <laughs> come when it, yeah, come later when I've finished doing everything. Put it in the hob, yeah. that's ready. Thank you very much. I'm just going to turn it on now, and let nature make it to And also, look at the mess. Oh, it's made some mess. And... You will add any salt to this? I will. I'll add seasoning. Seasoning. And what is seasoning? Seasoning is usually salt, uh -huh. sugar. Oh. Um, but I like my seasoning to be natural. So what I'll put apart from salt and sugar would be, I will have garlic. Uh -huh. garlic oh, okay. And I will have fresh pepper, uh -huh. onions. But before I put the onions and the garlic in, I will fry them. Okay, we have our own and peppers. And that yes, I'm from going to use everything from the allotment, apart from the salt. Yes, which is from the sea. And we the don't sugar. have a sea here. Yeah. And that would be the only two things, two seasonings, that's not our own. Yeah. Thank you very much, Suzanne. We'll come back when it is boiled. Yeah, we will. And when it, we start jarring then. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely. So, what's happening here? Well, I forgot what I've got. Oh, here it is. Well, this is the sauce now. And oh. what I've done, I've just thrown I could have smell it from the, <laughs> oh, <laughs> several tens of meters in the outside. I threw the tomatoes <laughs> in whole and uh. I threw the basil leaves in whole, just whole. Uh. But what I did, I chopped up the onions. You have not added any peppers, have you? Uh, yes, oh. there's peppers. Oh, the peppers, yeah. yeah. I fried those with onions and um, garlic. Okay, what kind of seasonings you have added? I haven't added any yet. Oh, okay. What you will add is sugar. I, I will, the only What season, kind of sugar? Is it dermal the or only, white? The only two seasonings I'm going to add is probably a spoonful of demerara sugar. Which is brown sugar. Yeah, as a seasoning, a little bit of seasoning salt because we've got everything here. Mm -hmm. Everything is here. Uh-huh. The yeah. sugars are we've the plants. We've got the peppers. We've oh. got the lots and lots of lovely basil. And we have onions as well. And mm. our own garlic. Oh, everything yeah, from allotment. everything from the allotment, I think. Everything. Are you going to liquidise it or yeah. just you will... No, I don't. I, that's the whole thing. Oh, a little bit of the... Yeah. I don't liquidise it. What I do, I, re I wait, I use the masher, an ordinary potato mash, mm -hmm. pound it down and I just reduce it. Oh, you just and let it yeah, boil and... Yeah, I just uh, reduce it to wait till it turns into a paste. Then I bottle it, mm -hmm. and then all the way I, I taste a little, taste a little, taste a little, because my grandmother and my my aunt, great auntie Margaret, mm -hmm. they were both 
cooks in big houses for the gentry mm -hmm. and uh, they taught me to cook oh. and they always said you can always put you can always put something in you never get it out so when they were making this sort of stuff you put a little bit in then you'd reduce it then you taste it mm -hmm. then you put another little bit in then you bring it down more water reduce that and that simply means you um, just steam the water away oh. and uh, until it's just enough to probably this great big base this great big bowl here looking for will be enough just to fill up I think about a litre oh of, uh, uh, five, two, that is five, at least two and a half litre yeah two capacity of this pot yeah so it's going to reduce down a lot but the thing with that it's, it's like a paste. It uh, intensifies the flavour. Yeah, it's a paste and not a sauce. Mm. So when you put it to your cooking, with, you can easily, you could use it for all sorts of things. You can paste it over your pizzas, put lovely pizza topping. Oh. Or you can put it into cooking and add water to it. So you can make spaghetti out of it and just add a little more water again. So, um, you know, it's, it's an all-rounder, really. Yeah, the world is your oyster, as a Shakespeare talk. Yeah, and another thing that I do, I will get old jars and I will scald them in boiling water. Mm -hmm. Everything gets scalded in boiling water, even the lid. So I'll put this in. Yeah, once mm. it's cooled down from boiling, so everything is sterilised. Oh, and then I get some cling film, just put it over the top and the lid on. And if you put it in the fridge, even though you open it, you know, for several weeks it will stay fresh. Okay. Thank you, darling. My pleasure. And on goes the lid. to reduction. That will probably take several hours to reduce, by the way, so you have some patience. Thank you. We will.